and I just pushed record so we can get this on the YouTube. So we'll do four of these warm ups. These are called the complete athlete movement progression. As you're doing those, I'll give you a little history of this warm up thing. Um, most athletes that I've ever worked with have done this warm up. And how it started was years ago um, when a good friend of mine, a guy named Paul Campbell, and I started working together. Paul came to me with a big concern, and that concern was that so many of our female athletes were getting hurt playing soccer. And we, he, he, he just didn't like it. Um, it really bugged him and he didn't, he didn't accept the, the percent of our female athletes that were getting hurt. So we spent a, a healthy amount of time designing programs, uh, this warm up being one of them, Eyes Up Lincoln. And, uh, and where this warm up came from was I, I took all the exercises that I could find that would affect how somebody moved on the pitch, um, how they started, stopped, jumped, cut, turned, fell, got back up, all these things. Yep, butt kickers, make sure you hit your under butt. And the next one you're going to do, Lincoln, is you'll do 20 here, then 20 here. That's for the third one. So anyways, took all these exercises, and um, some of these exercises were corrective, meaning they were designed to make you move better. Some were more wider stance, or sorry, wider knees, Lincoln. Some of these exercises were designed to um, be used as a screening tool, meaning they, they would tell us a little bit how you moved. So anyways, after combining all these exercises together, um, or getting them all together, then um, I did them, had the athletes do them, etc. And um, I was on a trip to um, to Europe, and every time I had the chance, every free moment, um, he'll do twenty on this leg and twenty on the other leg. Anyways, as we, as we got doing these exercises, <clears throat> we came up with a way that they would transition from one to the other. So there was kind of a natural progression, like the quad stretch to the, to the pointer, um, knees wide, Lincoln. Eyes up, please. Hips stay down, please. Squats. After your squats here, we're gonna do. We just we just did the the hops here. Now we're gonna do a hop with 90 degrees. So you'll hop to your left, pause, center, pause, right, pause, center, pause, and you'll end up doing 20 hops total. So 20 hops on the left, 20 hops on the right. Go ahead. Balance. <laughs> Balance. Keep that knee high, keep the knee up, keep the knee up, keep it up, good, help your hip out quite a bit, good ab exercise, keep that knee up, attempting to go like this when you jump, for this, for this part of it, keep that knee high the whole time. As soon as he's done with this, and you're done, then we're going to do our dynamic work, and that's going to be... Eight on each side, our lunge with elbow dance step, <clears throat> and then our hamstring hand walk. Eight at eight, we'll do that twice. So again, after this, he's gonna do his lunge with elbow to instep. Eight on each side. Yep. 
Lincoln lunge right out of there. Double in step, lunge back out. And again, eight on each side. After this, he'll do the hamstring hand walk. And then we'll do this, we'll do this dynamic warm up twice. After the second one, we'll do our core work. After our core work, we're gonna do our plow metrics with and without the ball with a little bit of run, and then we'll do our strength. It'll be a fun day. We should be about uh, not quite six minutes in. Hopefully you're getting warmed up, you're building up a sweat a little bit. And Lincoln on the next round, face that way. It doesn't matter, just face the side. Anyways, back to this warm-up story. I don't know about you, but working up in si working out in silence bugs me. So a little bit of music, a little bit of story time. So after determining the flow of the exercises from that warm-up, um, well, actually, the, the warm-up was very much based off of, uh, again, those corrective exercises and the screening exercise. Do that twice, Lincoln. This time face that way. Eight on each side, elbow to instep. Um, anyways, we took those exercises. We found what we thought was a good transition from one movement to the next, a good flow. Um, then started putting it into practice. Um, it was funny that one of the first teams that I had do this I thought it was a great idea until half the team threw up because of the warm-up. Then I determined the warm-up was way too much. <clears throat> okay, so after this, he'll do the hamstring hand walk for the second time. Then we'll do our core work. Lincoln, face the side, please. Keep those legs straight. As a reminder, hopefully you're eating four to five meals a day. Each meal has water, some protein, some carbohydrates, some fruits, some vegetables. Four to five meals a day. Try to space those meals out, of course. You're looking at about three hours between meals. Try to get consistent sleep, waking up at the same time, going to bed at the same time. Feeling good, Link? Good. All right. So now for our core, he's going to do the front plank, which we've been doing, but we're going to do something a little different. So you'll have your cone right in the middle. So Link, and I want your hands on the ground right in front of that cone. Feet back here, ready to do a plank. Keep that ball with you. Okay, so do a plank. Roll the ball to the other hand. Nope, oh, sorry, up and around the cone. Good. Now the other hand is going to roll it back. While you do this, going from the left to the right, right back to the left is one. He's going to keep his hips from going side to side. So he'll have a wide stance and no twisting your hips. Great. And as soon as, as soon as we're done with that, we'll do our side plank doing the same thing. So after this Lincoln, you'll be on your right side. You'll roll the ball around and back. And that's one. You'll do eight on the on that hand and eight on the other. So side plank. Yep. Roll it around the cone. Mm -hmm. That hand. Yeah. And back. Very good. I want your feet back on. There we go. Hips forward. Excellent. Eight of those. We'll go through this twice. So as soon as he's done, he'll go back. He'll do the other side. Eight on each side. Then he'll do that front plank. Roll the ball to the right, roll the ball to the left. Keep those hips up. If you're, if you're a good athlete and you want to do this right, then your top leg, let's have it high up in the air. Pick your leg up. Yeah, leave that leg there. Good luck.
Okay, as soon as you're, um, as soon as you've done two sets of eight each on the planks, no resting linking, get right to it. Then we'll get onto our plyometrics with and without the ball with the small run. Again, just as a reminder, you'll need three to five cones and a ball today. And uh, relatively small space again. If any of you are looking to donate some combs or hair products to Lincoln, that would be welcomed. Get that leg up in the air, Link. Very good. Hopefully you all are taking advantage of the mental performance session that's available to you through Headstrong Consulting. Just go to headstrongconsulting.com. Book your desired therapist. Get that leg up in the air, Link. And book your free mental performance session. How warmed up? Good. All right. Okay, so now that we're all done and warmed up, we're going to get this other part set up. So, Lincoln, to get this started, pick up those five cones. Three to five cones, totally up to you. We'll start with one cone right in the center. And then about, um, about a yard, it's totally up to you. We're gonna make this more complicated or less complicated depending on what you want. You're gonna be jumping back and forth. So I'm gonna take a wide step to the side, place my second cone, go back to the center, take a wide step to the right, place my third cone down, and that's what I have. Then I'm also gonna place, uh, well, we'll start there. So Lincoln, no ball, start right in the middle. We'll start with double leg hops. So he's gonna be in a ready position. Yep, bend your knees, bend your hips. He's gonna jump to the cone on his left and land under control. Then he's gonna jump passing the, the middle cone to land on the cone on the right. That's it. Now if you have more cones, Go back to the center there, Link. We would add another cone to this. And I don't know if you can see this one. Let me go see if you can see this one. We cannot. How is that? All right. So, Lincoln, now from here, if you want to make this more complicated, jump to the cone to your left. Pass the middle cone to the cone on the right. All the way to your left. <laughs> and all the way to your right. If he can't make this jump, he's walking home. Go ahead. <laughs> all right, relax. So we'll start that over. And again, you can do this with three to five cones. Make the width appropriate for what you can handle. So Lincoln, now do that beginning to your right. Will you land under control, please? You're going to do all five. Start over. Jumping to the right. Jumping all the way to the left. Yeah, you at least got to try. So the nice thing about a drill like this, let's do each of those again one more time. Beginning to your left. Now, give yourself a little bit of break in between here, each one. But the nice thing about this last jump that he's about to try is he's reaching to really try hard. <laughs> Land under control. Land under control. Good. All right. So we're just kind of warming things up. Now we'll do that. We'll do this with our three cones here, not the five. Now this time we'll do it with the, uh, sorry, without the ball, single leg, and then we're going to add the ball to it. All right. So left leg only, Lincoln. Uh, sorry, jumping from our left to our right. So he's going to begin on his left leg. His right leg's going to be up in the air, and when he jumps to the right, he's going to land on that right leg. The left leg will be 
bent and up in the air. Go ahead, Lincoln. And then from here, he's gonna jump off of his right leg, past the middle cone, landing on his left with his right knee up. Go ahead. Good. All right, so let's repeat this to the other side. Let's begin with the other leg up. Go ahead. Good. All right, so we're gonna repeat this to each side. When we do this together, we wanna land just one time. So watch this leg when I land, please. I'll jump and I shift above. What we really want is I want you to land one time. Your foot can land on the ground and stay in that one spot. So land, stick that leg. When I come all the way across, stick that leg. We really don't want to be hopping or twisting. Okay, and we can do that two more times. Sorry, one more time on each, each direction. Try not to jump out of that shoe. All right, so now we're gonna add the ball to this and we'll do this three times each direction with the ball. Now it's gonna be kind of tricky here. So he's gonna start on his left leg. <clears throat> his right leg, when he jumps, um, are you jumping this way? Or do we say this way? Okay. All right, Lincoln, show me the drill. No. Okay. So you're gonna start on your left leg. Your right leg will be up in the air. You're gonna push the ball to your right. The ball will be traveling to that cone. As soon as you push it, you're gonna use that to jump land the ball is going to you're going to stop the ball with your left foot and then you're going to push the ball with your left foot across to the other cone jump in front of it land and stop it with the other foot you're going to do that three times beginning to the left three times beginning <laughs> three times beginning to the left three times beginning to the right Actually, control every time. Hey, eyes up, and you're going to push the ball. If you need a little bit further distance, or you want to do this with all five cones, good luck. <laughs> okay, as soon as he's done this with three times each direction, then we're going to leave the ball alone for a second because we're going to be turning on our jumps next. Are you all set? All right, so we're just gonna leave the ball there. Now to get ready for the next part of this, double leg hops with a 90 degree turn. So he's gonna be in a ready position. Knees are bent, hips are ready. He's gonna jump to his right, turning 90, 90 degrees to his right. Go ahead, Link, jump, land under control. He's gonna jump, turning 90 degrees only to his left, so he'll face the same way he began but he's gonna pass that middle cone and land on that third cone. Go ahead. Good. All right, let's try that same thing again. Land under control. Excellent. Okay, now let's do that going to the left. Take a break for a second, Lincoln. As you guys are getting ready to do this, those cones haven't moved since we placed them. So, as you're getting ready to jump um, and you're not facing the cone that's behind you, use your memory to, to land where that cone wants you to land. No looking back. Okay, Lincoln, go ahead. Jumping to the left. Q. 
Energia. Good. All right, so now that's we did that double leg. Now we're going to do that with our, our jumping from our left to our right without the ball, and then jumping from our right to our left. Go ahead, Lincoln. Each direction twice. Okay, now that this is so easy for you, we're gonna add a little bit of run to it. So when he's done with the last jump, he'll count to three, make sure he's under control, and then he's gonna run up and around those cones. As you do this, just try to have good technique and things like that. Okay, so let's do that with the run twice each direction. And a ready stance, very good. Keep going, Link. You wanna give yourself about 20 to 30 seconds recovery between each one. That's how fast he was. He ran out of his shoe. <laughs> Land under control. And take off. High knees. Hands are fast. Is that both these directions? You got one more. One more. Land under control. Land under control. Around the cones. It needs to be a sprint, Lincoln. All right. So now let's do our 90 degree turn with the ball. So we're doing our, our jumps, single leg from left foot to right foot. And we're just adding that push, that ball push with uh, landing with the ball. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. And then the run. Okay, and we'll do this the other side. Make sure you're balancing control. Oh, stop, start over, start over, start over. The leg that you're landing on needs to make it to the cone that you're jumping to. Don't forget the run, don't forget the run, there we go. We'll do two each direction. How many more do you have, Lincoln? One more. Okay, two each direction. Hold on, that doesn't count because you got to jump to the marker. Very good. Okay, so go ahead and pause and take a stretch for a second, Lincoln. So as you're doing these kind of things, um, again, those cones can be further apart. There can be more of them. It's really up to you. If you want to get more jumps, then maybe space the cones closer. And that'll give you more jumps, more touches on the ball. If you want more aggressive jumping, then just space those cones further apart. Um, and as he's stretching, taking his break, when you're doing anything that's fast or explosive, and that's what that's what you're after, uh, speed or explosive power or anything like that, make sure to give yourself enough recovery that you can perform that task again 
at full capacity. If you're after endurance or anything like that, it's okay to, to be to have your speed a little less than, than you normally would have. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to do our strength. For our strength work today, we're gonna do, um, everything's gonna be 30 seconds. So three sets of 30 seconds of each of these. We're gonna do a Turkish get up. I think we did one last Wednesday. We're gonna do a single leg glute bridge, dirty on each side. And then we're gonna do a pike press, so a little bit of shoulder exercise, trap exercise. And then we're gonna do a seated juggle. Again, everything's gonna be three times for 30 seconds each. You ready, Lincoln? I want you to be right here in front of the tongue. Have the ball there because you're gonna need it. And to begin, he's gonna do his Turkish get-ups with the dumbbell. You can use your shoe. You can just have your hand up in the air. Um, a small child, a cat, whatever. All right, to begin with, 30 seconds. 30 seconds on each side. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Now, just because it's 30 seconds, you don't need to go fast. Do the best you can with the best technique you can. If you've not done a Turkish get up before, wonderful exercise. Um, take your time. Try to learn it first. And switch sides. Three, two, one, go. I think he's going slow on purpose. When you do these, there's a couple rules to them. One of the very first rules is eyes up. Eyes forward, have that hand directly above your face. And rest, that's 30 seconds. Now we're gonna get ready for our glute bridge. Take your ball. So on this one, you'll have, you're, you're laying on your back. You're gonna put one of your heels on the ball. The other heel, you're gonna grab and pull into your chest. Now you're gonna keep those knees in and you're just gonna bridge up. Shoulder blades are on the ground, heels on the ball and that's it. And go. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. You guys keep going. Lincoln, I want you to turn sideways so people can see what in the world you're doing. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. You got 15 seconds left. Your goal on this, the, the closer the ball can be, um, easier it might be. Um, you want to make sure that you fully extend your hips so that there's a straight line going from your... Pause, Lincoln. Switch legs. Three, two, one, go. A straight line from your knee through your hips, landing at your shoulders. That's what you want when you extend yourself all the way up. If this is too hard with one leg, do it with two legs. No worries. And control yourself coming down. 10 more seconds. As soon as we're done with this, we're gonna do a pike press. All right, that's time. So stay sideways there, Lincoln. Get in the pike position and press. So pike position, um, hands are fairly close. There we go. You want straight legs. Face is gonna go right between your hands. And that's your push-up or a pike press. Keep going. Good tricep exercise, good shoulder exercise. Try to have your face land more towards your thumbs, Lincoln. If you guys have questions or things that you need personally um, for your physical development or you have injuries that you're dealing with, nutrition questions, Okay, rest Lincoln. Now ball juggles. So he's gonna be in a seated position and he's gonna to try to juggle the ball, face the side Lincoln. I have another ball here because I don't think he can do it for 30 seconds, but he's gonna try and you're gonna try. If you drop the ball, quickly get it, put it back between your feet. 
So all he's gonna do here, he's gonna be seated here. Uh, show me without the ball, Lincoln. Yep, and just kind of move your feet. He's gonna be doing that, but with the ball. All right, three, two, one, begin. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Go, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Here you go. 15 more seconds. Now hopefully you're a good sport about this. I think it's not done this before. He did not know we were gonna do this. And he's being a good sport about it. it might be a little embarrassing. Okay, time. All right, so we did everything one time. We have two more rounds, starting with our Turkish get-ups. Three, two, one, go. Everything's for 30 seconds. Eyes are forward. Now, once you get the hang of it, you feel like your technique's good, then you can speed it up. But in the meantime, take your time, make sure your posture's good arms are straight, et cetera, et cetera. A few more seconds. And time, switch sides and go. Anyways, what I was saying, um, if, there's, if there's things that you need for your physical development, mental stuff, nutrition, et cetera, et cetera, we have a team of people here at LaRocca willing and wanting to help you out. Just send me a message asking anything you might need. Program that's more appropriate for your environment, nutrition information, etc. You can email me at andrew.harstad at LaRoccaFC.com. Link in that's time. What's next? Hamstring curls or glute bridges, whatever you want to call them. One leg at a time and go um, you can find my email information and phone number on the roca's website larocafc.com and i work for you and the coaches of this club so if there's things that you need i'm happy to help you out in any way possible make sure those hips raise all the way up there's been a running program that's been sent to your coaches and managers Hopefully you're doing that. Okay, rest, switch sides, and go. On that running program, it tells you how long the run is. It tells you about your effort level, and it tells you potentially the, the percent of effort that you need to give. So for example, it'll say 30 minutes, easy run at 65 to 70%. If all you get out of that is an easy 30 minute run, perfect. And time. Pike. Do you want to do that? Do you want to use the ball this time on the pike? Hands on the ball? Okay. <laughs> and go. I mean, there it is. Now we're talking. This is kind of hard. Hopefully you've all registered for tryouts. When tryouts would be, no one knows. But by getting registered, it helps your coaches see who is, who's getting ready to play and rest. Last Lincoln is the ball juggle. So we're in that C position. We're gonna try to juggle the ball. If you don't have a ball or this is too difficult, then just straight leg scissors is fine. And go. <laughs> Keep doing your best. Right back to it. Right back to it. and the seated juggle, and then we'll do our one, two, three, four stretches. Ready? And go. Okay. 
<laughs> Braden, hope you're doing well. Hope you're working out hard. You've always been a hard worker, Braden. It's going to be exciting to see what you've been able to develop over the time. Oh, geez. Other side. <laughs> and go. I made him go way too long. Like, it happens all the time. There we go. Keep those eyes up. After this, we have the glute bridge and rest. Glute bridge. 30 seconds, everything and go. After the glute bridge, we have the pike press. After the pike press, we have the seated juggles. Again, if you guys need anything, anything to do with your health, wellness, and performance, and you're not getting it from and switch sites. Anything you need, you can email me at andrew.harstad at larocafc.com um, or go to larocafc.com. You can find my contact information there. You can call me or email me or text me. I'll be happy to help out with everything and anything that you might need. There are things that I will help you with and it seems that we will have you um, work with one of our, our business partners. Okay, that's time. Pike press. This time, hands on the ball. This time, hands on the ball. <laughs> so this is going to be hard for him. I hope he's hard for you. And go. Straight down. Now, the closer those, hand, those feet are to your hands, the harder it is or the better it is for you. Uh, but this is a hard exercise. Working on the shoulders. A little bit of the traps, the triceps, of course, and uh, free nose jobs if you have a hard time with this one. You guys have ever seen Lincoln play? He likes to give out free nose jobs, nose jobs to people. Smacks them in the face. Rest. Last up, ball juggles. I'll be there for you, with you, Lincoln, to help you with uh, the ball you kick across the field there. And go. So our last exercise after this, we have our one, two, three, four stretches. Get going, get going, get going. You're better at that than I am. Lincoln will get better at it, I'm sure. Okay, now we're on to our one, two, three, four stretching. Pretty simple. Lincoln, just do each one for 10 seconds. Hopefully you're memorizing this. We do one on the floor, two in the air, three with a partner on a wall, four more on the floor, it's actually five. Um, just an easy way to remember stretching. This is something I learned um, through Bigger, Faster, Stronger. Ten eight seconds. Ten seconds each, sorry. All right, so as we're closing up here, we have a few more minutes. Um, I will be sending this to be posted on YouTube as I did last Wednesday. For some reason, it takes a long time for me to upload this to our cloud. And then it'll be available there for you to repeat or do or learn from or steal from whatever you got to do and just as a couple reminders go to LaRocca FC to sign up for tryouts remember to eat well water protein carbohydrates fruits and vegetables four to five times a day 
a meal journal has been sent to your coaches and managers. I'd encourage you to take that and um, take that meal journal and fill it out for a week or two. It can tell you a lot about how you're eating and how your kids are eating. In addition to that, um, multiple physical programs have been sent to your coaches and managers. Look through those, do the one that is, is best for you, most appropriate for you. There's also been a recovery and preseason running program sent, very detailed. Um, it's seven days a week. It has the times, effort, everything to it. Is that the last stretch? Okay, that's it. LaRocca family, we miss you. We love you. Hope you're doing well. Lincoln, thank you very much. And we'll see you all on Wednesday.